You're watching another supercharged masterclass with Jordan Samuel Fleming. Your opportunity to learn the ins and outs of podio design and development from one of the top podio partners in the world. Hey everybody, it's Jordan Fleming back with another supercharged masterclass. Today, I'm gonna go and dive into something that's really, really simple, but you may find you use it all the time. And that is using Citrix PWA, uh, formerly known as Globiflow, to create an item, either in the same app or another app, by using a category field as a button. It's a super simple thing to do. It takes seconds to set up, but it can give an amazing kind of workflow to your Podio design. Let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so here we are in Podio in my uh, kind of test workspace. By the way, everybody should have a test workspace where they just create things and try them out and it doesn't impact the rest of their Podio environment. So um, I'm gonna show you a very simple Globiflow process um, in how to use a category field to trigger the creation of an item, either in the same app or another one. In this case, I've got a company, a contacts app and a company's app, and I simply want to use this uh, category field. So if we take a look at the template, we've got a category field, which I've named actions. I do that a lot um, so that it's very clear. This is an action set of buttons, right? Um, the actions, and then we can have multiple actions to, you know, to, to do uh, different types of workflow automation, create company, create uh, office, you know, um, you know, create PDF, whatever it is. So I've got this actions and one of my options is create company. And so I want to set Globiflow up so that when I press this button, it creates a company, which is in that second app. And I'm going to actually link that second item, the item we've created to this uh, item that we've triggered the automation from. And when I'm done, I want to make sure that this button goes back to blank so that I can press it again. Particularly if I've got multiple options here, I wanna be able to use it like a real button. Press, it does something, and it unpresses itself. Are you using Podio with CallRail? <laughs> There's a better way. Click the link, find out why hundreds of businesses have moved over to using smartphone, the only phone system built for Podio. Make more calls, send more texts, and close more deals. Click the link. So, how do I do that? Pop over to Citrix PWA, and we'll take a look at the flow uh, that I've created here. Now, um, this is an on update flow. Um, you'll know from some of the other videos, and if you've used Podio for a while, there are different triggers uh, that trigger automations. This is when an item is updated. And if we just take a quick look at what happens, you'll see we've got, okay, when, what's the trigger? It's when an app, when the, an item is updated in this app. Um, and we're gonna put a filter here. Um, sometimes I use if statements to create filters. Uh, sometimes for simple workflows, I often just use these built-in fil filters. So if the field actions, which is the one we want, right, actions, if it has just changed, and I'm gonna do another modifier, and if actions is now equal to create company. So therefore, what that kind of, the trigger is the item's been updated and that the action field has been changed and now equals create company, right? So that's, that's what we've kind of set up here. Uh, and then we've got just a very simple workflow. We use a create new company. So you just create a block here and you've got all these different types of actions. In this case, um, we've used the create, you can start typing create item uh, block. Um, and we've simply, we're going to create a new comp uh, a new item in the company app. Um, that's the app we've, we cho we've chosen. And we're gonna simply fill in some basic fields, the company name, and we're doing a, uh, a token from the item that we are currently on. So I'm grabbing the information from the item in the app that I'm on and I'm gonna say it's that uh, contact name's company, and I'm gonna put the owner as the current, because it's a relationship field that goes back to my item, I'm gonna do it as the current contact item. So that essentially I'm creating an item in a second app, and I'm using, because there's a relationship field that comes back, 
I am using it and I'm automatically linking to the one I'm on when I press the button. Um, in another video, I've shown you how to, there's a video about how do you really leave breadcrumbs. Um, I would recommend you take it out. And, but the other key, um, key action we do here is after we've done the create con company, we have done an update um, where we are taking that actions field and we are unsetting it. So we're taking the value away from it. That's what's going to make it um, not uh, that, that it looks like it's been pressed and unpressed, right? So it's very simple. We've got the create new company. We've got some fields. We're linking it to our one and uh, the item we're on. And then we are unpressing that button. It's all we need to do. Now, I will say um, a bit that usually most of these actions are going to be hook events. I do have a video dedicated to just what exactly that is. You can check it out on the channel. Um, but that is all the flow we need. Very simple. So what I'm doing is I've got a category field with an option that's going to work as a button. I'm doing a very simple Podio workflow um, script that says on the update, if this field is changed and is now equal to the option I care about, create an item over here, link it back to me and unpress the button. See it in action. Here I am, create company. And there you go. So a new company has been created. Um, I should now have probably two companies here because I've, again, I've done this be uh, before. Yep, I do. So a few seconds ago, I created one. So Jordan Fleming's company is here and I've created it and it says Jordan Fleming's company and it is linked back to Jordan Fleming. And most importantly, the button, as we discussed, is now unpressed and I can now press it again. Very simple thing to do. You're going to find you do it all the time in um, Podio, but you can see how just that simple action can be a huge game changer for the way you build your system. So agree, disagree, like, don't like, drop a comment on the website or over on my YouTube channel. You can also request videos you want to see me make. If there's topics you'd like me to discuss surrounding Podio or one of the extensions that adds into Podio, I'll be happy to do that. Um, do hit that subscribe button um, so that you're notified when new videos come up. And of course, check out the Supercharged podcast available on this website that you're looking at, the wearegamechangers.com website. Uh, on all the uh, podcast um, tools that you can think of, Apple, Google, Spotify, etc. Make sure you subscribe, give us a like, give us a rating, give us a review. It really does help spread the gospel of Podio. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this Supercharged Masterclass with Jordan Samuel Fleming, CEO of Smartphone. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel to be notified of new podcast episodes, Podio Masterclasses, and in-depth Podio Extension Reviews.